Welcome to this new HTML5 lesson. In today's lesson, we will learn about the blog code, the code, and the site HTML tags. I have started a project named it blockcode.html. I have an H1 tag where it says how to use quotes in HTML, and I'm going to come right here and start a blog code tag and close it. And basically, the block code tag specifies that a section is quoted from another source. In other words, we use the block code tag to provide credit to the source we got the information from. All right, so I'm going to go to Google and type the following technology codes. All right. And I'm going to copy this one here. I'm going to take it to Notepad first. Do this so to clean it. All right, and I'm going to control and bring it here and paste it. So, the block quote tag is usually used for indicating long quotations, quotations that require paragraph breaks. So, let me press Control S and uh, go to the run and uh, launch in Chrome. And this is my H1, and this is my block quote paragraph in the block quote tag. Notice that my paragraph is indented, and that's the default style that the browser gives you. Whenever you use block code, the browser indent the paragraph, as you can see here. All right, I'm going to shrink this down and come here. And now I'm going to use something else to code. And uh, basically, I'm going to use the code tag or Q tag. The Q tag defines a short quotation. So basically, we use the Q tag for short quotations and we use the block quote tag for uh, long quotations. So I'm going to come here and before that, I'm going to say P and close my P tag. Take this right here, control X, and uh, I'm going to say here, then he said then I'm gonna come here in the middle and say you go to your parents all right and uh, then we come here and say something like every he said something to serve the purpose I'm gonna press Control S I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna refresh my page and there as you can see this is my quote and uh, this is my paragraph and as you can see the browser inserted quotation marks around the quotation that's by default and of course you can change that with uh, CSS if you want to do so the last tag that we're going to work with today is the site tag that's another quotation tag and uh, the site tag basically defines the title of a work for example a title of a book or a title of a painting or something like that okay but not a person's name we don't use the site to define a person's name. Okay, so I have something in my clipboard. I'm going to paste it. Come here. Open site tag. And uh, sorry, actually not here. Actually, I'm going to come here. And open site tag. 
and here and close it and of course I will open my paragraph tag here and uh, close it right here and here what I'm saying is one of the best books you can use to learn HTML5 is HTML5 the missing manual and that is an HTML book published by the O'Reilly Media let's uh, press Control S and uh, go back to our browser refresh it and here as you can see this is my paragraph and this is my citation right here HTML5 the missing manual and by default the browser italicize the title for us as you can see right here and basically this is the main idea behind this quotation tags in HTML this is how we uh, use them in HTML and with this we come to the end of this lesson I thank you for watching and you have a good day